The photos are chilling. A man trapped in the snow, barely breathing and unable to move. It's just like drowning. Pitch black, you can't hear a thing, nothing. It's just as black as can be. For Kyle Pratt, it's a nightmare he's thought about nearly every day since he was buried in an avalanche two years ago. Until you experience it, you can't mentally understand how it is. Pratt was snowmobiling with six friends near Island Park that January day, in the same area where two men died in separate avalanches earlier this month. As Pratt stopped near some trees, he looked and saw a mountain of snow barreling toward him. It just blew over and filled up the canyon when I was in the bottom. So I didn't travel in the avalanche, I just got covered. Pratt's friends were fine. They rushed over to him and frantically began digging as the 32-year-old at the time blacked out. Until you're in an avalanche, you don't believe that it flows like water and sets up like concrete because that's all truth. Fills up your helmet. <laughs> like it... it Flows like water, it fills everything up and then just sets up and you're, that's where you're at. After three minutes of digging, Pratt's friends were able to uncover his head, then his entire body, with his feet being about 10 feet under. Once they got me out, it took seven of us nonstop digging about two hours to get my sled out. An average of 27 people die in avalanches every year in the United States, according to the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. We got a radio. Experts say some of those deaths could be prevented if snowmobilers would carry safety gear like beacons, shovels, probes, and airbags. So this is the avalanche airbag that Kyle says he wears every single time he's on his snowmobile. This is how it works. <laughs> Once the airbag is inflated, it gives several inches of space for a person to breathe. It's by the gear or die. Bo Stoddard is Pratt's friend and has been snowmobiling for several years. He says safety is nothing to mess around with. If you don't want to spend the money and do what it takes to be in the backcountry and enjoy what we do, then find a different hobby. Ironically, this wasn't Pratt's first near-death experience. In 2012, as he was recording this video, he nearly fell off a 1,500-foot cliff on his snowmobile. Probably 15 foot from the edge, a chunk of snow broke off. Skis were hanging over the edge. I was gonna bail, stop. Everything came to rest, so I crawled off the back of my sled, drug it back, and assessed the situation. Would you say you've defied death twice? I, I would. That's not good. Pratt says he's learned his lesson surviving this and this. Now he always wears safety gear whenever he rides, knowing that life can change in a split second. If you're out in the backcountry on a snow machine and you don't have the equipment, you shouldn't be there. I'm Nate Eaton, eastidahonews.com.